Hey everybody, welcome back. David Eon and the Stunning Mist Lady Pop Hunter here with another weekly roundup taking a look at some of what is coming to the adult collector's market action figure wise in the near future. Get your pre-orders ready. Maybe, maybe not. So we will see. <laughs> hey, not everybody likes everything. No. So everybody's got their tastes. Mm -hmm. You might hear Crumb in the background because he wants to come in and he's at the door crying and crying. Because he's a big freaking baby. Uh, anyways, and no uh, no show announcements. No. I don't think so. I think, uh, what, the... Is there anything in April? The, the next thing's not till May, is it? Yeah. I think it's in May, and I think that's uh, also hosted by Retroville, right? It's something coming up the first week in May in Charlotte, and we're going to try to decide if we're going to go to yeah, that yeah. or not. That's right. But um, we'll keep you posted, of course. Yeah. And, and naturally, if we go, we will film. Mm -hmm. But we'll go ahead and get started, and we'll start off with Bandai, Bandai SH Figure Arts, Batman, the new Batman, of course. There he is in all of his glory. Mixed media. This is a $95 figure. Mm. And, and that's like, what, 112 scale? Roughly, yeah, mm. or just a hair under. And thank you, Bandai, for this time actually showing all the accessories because <laughs> Bandai has a problem with that with their promo photos. Oh, They'll show pictures, different photos of the character holding different things mm -hmm. but not necessarily show you the accessories and I think that's important to see what all you're getting for the price that you're paying. Also from Bandai we have Krillin in battle clothes. He's wearing the Saiyan battle armor version Krillin with the one star Dragon Ball and of course that's the Namekian Dragon Ball not to be confused with the Earth Dragon Ball and this is an example of what I was talking about with uh, with uh, Bandai mm -hmm. SH Figure Arts they don't really show you the other accessories with yeah. this but obviously there are some 90 for Krillin mm. how about Koo Model I've shown Koo Model before they get some weird stuff yeah like this thing yeah like this thing this is Pumpkin Guy from Magic House, and this is a 1 12th scale action figure. Fully mixed media, obviously he's got a pumpkin head. Uh, he looks like one of the original Wizard of Oz characters. <laughs> from, the, uh, from the book series, there was a guy with a pumpkin head. Oh, okay. You didn't see him in the movie. And it looks like he steals money because he's got bags that say U.S. on it. Or maybe he steals mail. Halloween cards? I don't know. This is $80. Or, or, if you get a few extra bucks, there is a deluxe version that comes with this, like, built-up stand and, for some reason, a gold AK-47. And an extra head. And an extra head. Happy and an angry head. Yeah, you get a lot of extra accessories. This is 100 so for $20 mm. more, there's a lot of extra pieces here. I like the detail on the, uh, on the outfit. It looks like he's been running through the mud. <laughs> And he has a friend. And his friend is Scarecrow. Got a gas can. Yeah, a Scarecrow. A, a gas can and a chainsaw and a couple of kitchen utensils there. Maybe he can borrow a gun from his friend. Maybe if you do a lot of horror, because I know some people, yeah. you know, they got specific lines and they do just horror. Yes. This would fit in well. Yeah, it would actually. And this is 80, and there's a deluxe version of this as well. Where he's got like a venom head. Yeah, it looks like a venom head. Venom head and the stand. So you get some some extra bits and pieces there. The chainsaw looks the same to me. Mm hmm. Interesting. It's yeah. interesting. Mm, something different. Something different. Oh, well, how about look something at that. how about something not so different? Funko! That's, that's Funko different. anyone. Well, it is different from Funko. This is another in their metallic series, their die cast figures. And that is Boba Fett. Remember the last one they did was Wonder Woman, right? Mm -hmm. And we're like, why did they do Wonder Woman? Well, who knows? But that's Boba Fett and die cast. And there is a chase one where he is unpainted. Oh. And that's the one on the right. And you see it's got chase stamped on the box because I believe the box is acrylic. The words light up? It looks like it's kind of glowy. I think they're shining a light through it oh. for effect. Oh. But uh, I don't think I don't believe it glows. It'd be nice if it did. That'd be interesting. Mm. More Funko Gold figures, and these are 12-inch varieties. 
we were at the Walmart the other day. They must have had like 20 of those biggies, oh, the the 12-inch ones. Mm -hmm. And more 12-inch Davis and Curry. These are Walmart exclusives. And again, anybody out there interested in these, I'm just curious because they seem to be piling up at Walmarts. Yeah. We see a lot of those. How about this? VHS cover editions now. Oh, wow. VHS cover edition of Goofy from a Goofy movie. Of course, that's an acrylic box. They're and moving towards that uh, acrylic box now. I guess yeah. they got to do something else. Yeah, and the and I'll remind you, the acrylic is on the inside of the cardboard. Mm -hmm. So it could still get damaged. And that's obviously an Amazon exclusive. Then you won't have to buy pot protectors, I guess. Yeah, unless you need a protector for the cardboard that's on the outside of the acrylic box. Oh. Yeah, it, there's always an angle. Mm. Moon Knight, Walmart exclusive, Glow in the Dark. Moon Knight from the new TV show. Has, any, has that come out yet? I have no Has anybody idea. seen that? Isn't that a movie? Uh, no, it's a television series. Oh, it's going to be on Disney. Yeah, so we won't Definitely see it. Definitely won't yeah, see it. Yeah, we won't see it. It might be good, I don't know. We won't know. It's an interesting character anyway. Mm -hmm. And there's your regular ones that you can also get at Walmart or anywhere else. And the Star Wars Amazon exclusive three-piece diorama set finally has its third piece, and that's the Qui-Gon Jinn now has been added. So you can get those on Amazon and put all three together and make a diorama if you so choose. And at Target, we got a couple of Jurassic Park movie moments. The dinosaur was a lot bigger. Yeah, that's the, what you're uh, gonna triceratops get. down there. And more at Target. Some drinking glasses and pins and stickers and what backpacks not? and odds and ends that they can pack into their quote unquote adult collector section. Mm -hmm. Or if you happen to be in Canada, I guess, you can go to Toys R Us and get the Wizarding World Jeffrey exclusive. How did the pop-up Toys R Us do? You remember they were going to do a pop-up in what, Macy's or mm -hmm. JCPenney or somewhere? Macy's, very poorly. Oh, did it? It was exactly what I predicted. Mm. It was, uh, all they did was throw up a Toys R Us sign in their general toy department and yeah. put a bunch of junk on tables. Mm. It wasn't what anybody was hoping it would be. Mm. It, I, I, we did a video on it, and I was like, yeah, this is what they're going to do, and that's exactly what they did. Mm. So we'll see. We'll see what happens next year. Or this year. Uh, comic book covers, Venom Lethal Protector Part 1 comic book cover px previews exclusive and there is venom glows in the dark well his sl huh? his slobber oh, does yeah. anyways glow in the dark slobber that's all, that's what i wanted and some figures for the make a wish foundation disney exclusives uh, I don't know if they're exclusives to Disney theme park or anywhere, or I'm not sure 100% where you're going to be able to get these, and that is a metallic paint job. They are not metallic. Oh. Because that's the same um, stuff that's already out. <clears throat> yes, they just repainted it. Yeah, that color. I mean, it looks interesting. I but, like it. Yeah, it's a nice color scheme. Just the Mickey and Minnie and the uh, Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, of course. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Hmm. And we'll get out of that and jump into Hasbro, which is practically Disney because of the Star Wars. Yeah. But Hasbro, we've got a bunch of Star Wars stuff coming out. And this is the ARC Trooper. ARC Trooper Jesse from Clone Wars. $16 range. And they call it the Vintage Collection. And by the Vintage Collection, they mean they put a Kenner stamp on it. Because, mm. of course, there is no more Kenner. We've got, uh, what is his name? Figrin Da'an, which is one of the band, uh, the cantina band members 
from that scene in the original Star Wars, A New Hope, Part 3, A New Hope. $16 for that. Loyalist, the Airborne Trooper Death Watch Loyalist from Clone Wars there. $16. Still in the Vintage Collection. Moff Gideon. And that's the Black Series. And now we jump all the way to 30 And of course, these are suggested retail prices. It might be cheaper wherever you can find them. Battlefront 2 Lando. Doesn't look a lot like uh, Billy D there. <laughs> 17 for the Lando. And back to Black Series. And these are boxed, by the way. They're not carded. Mm -hmm. This is the Princess Leia comic book version. $29. It looks like a vinyl cape. It doesn't look mixed media to me. It could be, but it doesn't look it. And Saw Guerrera from Rogue One. Who I, that was Forrest Whitaker, wasn't it? I think that was Forrest Whitaker. This is going to have one uh, prosthetic leg, and then he's going to have like a house slipper on the other foot. Is that what he looked like in the movie? I don't remember what his footwear looked like in the film. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw Rogue One. Rogue One was actually one of the better of the new Star Wars films. Oh, was it? Yeah. 30, 35 for this. <clears throat> Probably because it's Forrest Whitaker. Mm. Uh, Sergeant Creel comic book version. And this is also 29. And then Shea Vizsla. Back to the vintage collection again. This is 17. I don't know why Shea Vizsla is a dollar more than the other ones. <laughs> Maybe she has more accessories. Maybe. And command Super Commando Captain from the Clone Wars. $16. See, we went down a dollar again. Again, that's just suggested retail pricing. And to almost wrap it up here, we have Trapper Wolf's X-Wing Pilot Helmet. One-to-one -one scale it is electronic. 135. Comes in a big box. Oh, that's not bad. Mm hmm So if you want to pretend to be Trapper Wolf. Not Trapper John M.D. Trapper Wolf. Who remembers Trapper John M.D.? Nobody. Oh, you think so? Somebody's going to remember that. And they're going to say so in the comment section. And Vader Redeemed Black Series. Basically, they just repainted in white. $29. And that'll do it for Hasbro. Okay, good. And we'll take a look at, uh, you knew this was coming, Hot Toys, Hot Toys Moon Knight. There he is. I like the stand. Look at the big crescent moon oh, yeah. stand. Yeah. That, uh, Does so that light up? I don't know, but it should. It looks like it should. Oh, and they got it on a plastic uh, rod so that the moon looks like it's kind of floating. Mm -hmm. His eyes look like they light up. But it doesn't specify if they do or if that's just an effect for the photography. But this, again, Hot Toys 1 6th scale Moon Knight. 300. 300 for the Moon Knight. Which I'm curious about the show, but you know, it's on Disney, so. Hey, back to the Plunderlings. Because they had a couple of stragglers mm. from, uh, from the ones that we shown or the ones that were shown last week. And again, this is made by Lone Coconut. It's their IP. And these are the Plunder Strong series from Plunderlings. And that's Feral 8-Ball. I guess because of his helmet. Feral 8-Ball, 5 inches tall, 1 12th scale, $45. And I think he has something like 25 points of articulation. And... Plunder Strong Nomad Poncho <laughs> with a couple of big pistols there. Six and a half inches, 112 scale, $70. Got a kind of a Clint Eastwood vibe there. 
Oh yeah, does he? Because of the poncho. Because uh -huh. he wore one in uh, uh, some of his original spaghetti westerns. Mm. How about Mattel? How about some more Mattel crossovers? Mattel. We haven't done that in a while. WWE, because we can't say F anymore. WWE Motu crossovers, and that is Becky Lynch as Tila. And no, I don't think that is a comic in the background. That is probably a card. And I think the uh, suggested retail is like $18. Highly articulated for power posing. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's what it says. I don't <laughs> know how highly articulated it is, but that's what it says. Mm. And then Macho Man. I thought as, they did a Macho Man. Yeah, they did, but this time he's Hordak, mm. I guess. Macho Man, Hordak, $20 is the suggested on that one. Mm. I don't know why there's a jump. How about Mezco? Mezco, and these are five points mm -hmm. figures, not the one, not the 112. Five points, Silent Hill, and this is a set. You're getting two figures and a backdrop. It's $44. This is what Red Pyramid Thing. Mm -hmm. And you also get Bubblehead Nurse. Oh, both of them, because doesn't, don't that come on a card? So both of them, is it, is it I a think, two pack? I think they come in like a display box. Oh, so it's a two pack? Yes. Oh. And you get this uh, backdrop. And I guess that's both sides of the backdrop. Because you can turn it. As cardboard? Probably. Mm. I, I think it might be a cardboard backdrop. Mm. And if I'm wrong, you know, somebody can let me know in the comment section. Mm -hmm. But 44 for that set. How about Rocket Toys? Rocket Toys has a 1 6th scale Itachi Uchiha from Naruto Shippuden. 320. 320 for that. That's a lot for anime character. Yeah, it seems like it. And I wonder what the deal is with the eyeballs. I'm not familiar with it. I, I could never get into Naruto, mm -hmm. and I don't know anything about a lot of its characters. And I, I wonder why he has eyeballs. Well, that's part of the show. <laughs> you have to watch it. Yeah, you would have to watch the show, I guess. Mm -hmm. And Super 7. Super 7's got a lot to talk about this week. Oh, do they? They have more of the G.I. Joe reactions. Obviously, that is the Baroness in gray. And these are 18 bucks a piece for the reactions. Cobra Commander with the helmet. Helmeted Cobra Commander. Enemy Leader. Firefly. One of the more popular action figures even from back in the day. Flint. Roadblock. They seem to make Roadblock uh, as much as Snake Eyes. Yeah. You know, all of these companies are doing Roadblock. I like how he's got the Ara rifle because mm -hmm. they didn't give everybody their exclusive guns. I guess it was just easier to draw the same gun with everybody. Mm -hmm. Snake Eyes. And I think that's it for the G.I. Joe reaction. Okay. But then we're going to take a look at some Power Ranger stuff because they're continuing with their Power Ranger ultimates. ultimates. That is Zed's Throne. Mm -hmm. Zed's Throne is 45. And then their release of figures. There is the Black Ranger. Two different head sculpts for two different versions of the Black Ranger. <laughs> so you can just make him either one. <laughs> the one on the left is the original one. Oh, was he black? Yes. Oh, okay. The original Black Ranger was black. Mm. And the Ultimates are 55 apiece. And then the Blue Ranger... Two different series versions of the Blue Ranger, of course. You get the idea how what they're doing with the heads. 
Oh, I thought they was going to give you a black and white one of all. No, no. <laughs> no, it's just two different series versions. Oh, okay, so they changed the Black Ranger yeah, to they a white guy? Yeah, they changed out a couple of people, and oh. they just give you a different uh, head sculpt. So that you, I, I guess it's that way Super 7. Because if they did the same uniform and equipment mm -hmm. with a different head, everybody would be like, what the hell is this Super 7? Mm -hmm. You know, it, it makes more sense, I guess, to do it that way. Yeah. Lord Zed with his uh, python. And then, oh god, what is his name? I don't know. I don't remember his name. Somebody but There he is. Yeah, somebody tell me in the comment section down below cuz I forgot who that is. <laughs> oh no. And then the Dino Megazord, which is 65. You got to pay an extra 10 bucks for the Dino Megazord. Because he's so big. I guess so. I don't know. I don't know why they did that. But, you know, that's all there is to it. Ladies and gentlemen, did you see anything there that you like this week? No. No? I like the the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Uh -huh. I want a one-six scale Batman. Doesn't Hot Toys have one? Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. They have a regular and a deluxe one, I believe. There's like two versions. Mm. Cause I missed out on I wasn't collecting when Christian Bale and Michael Keaton um, uh, when figures those versions. came out, and now to find them on eBay is like seven hundred bucks. <laughs> I know you like that Christian Bale Alfred two pack. Yeah, that's the one I want with that the Alfred and Christian Bale in front yeah. of the armory. And um, one of the Michael Keatons, and I would like a Joker. That's outrageous. Yeah. Um, the uh, oh, Nicholson Jack Joker. Nicholson and a um, Heath Ledger one. But to find them now, it's like the yeah. price is Yeah, and I'd like the 66 Batman and Robin mm. from uh, Hot Toys. But, you know, that's, uh, that's getting up there, too. Yeah, so I don't know. Well, aside from that, I didn't see anything this week I would jump off on. Mm -hmm. But... Hey guys, did you see anything that you liked? Feel free to tell us about it in the comment section down below. Let us know what's going to hurt your wallet, make you <laughs> blow the dust out of it, or maybe you just want to save your pennies. Yeah. Maybe it's nothing that interesting that week or this week, and there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But if that's it, then what more can I say? But thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon. <laughs>